Hi everyone, this is Cloud Chief here with my Let's Play of Zelda 2, and I just made it to the last stage. Uh, this stage is very annoying, lots of new enemies, uh, so but let's get right into it. Uh, the way I remember to get through this stage, because this is just a gigantic maze, is when you get to this room, you'll run to this room several times. You want to go left, right, right, left. So, and you can see like new annoying enemies. Um, you don't have to take the way that I'm talking about to get through here, but that's what I've personally found I think is the easiest way. See, now here's the same room again, so now I go to the right. And I know one of these, at least later, has a gigantic blob that drops out. And once you hit it, a bunch of little blobs come out. But I thought there was a uh, jar there, but I can't seem to reach it. And just work and Getting through this last level is a pain. The birds are really annoying, especially the blue ones. The blue ones jump really high, plus they throw swords like the blue knights. Oh, the red ones do too. <laughs> I'm just not even gonna bother. Ah! Like I said, they're just annoying not even worth the time and you can run through here let's I'll take a couple cracks at it yeah See, it gets them, but you can also get a jar. I should be able to get a jar out of it. Something to note, you do not want to kill them, because if you do kill the bird when you're trying to get a jar out of the statue, it won't drop a jar either. There we go. Success! And there's another one here. It's basically the same thing. So now this is the third time we've run into this room, so now I want to go to the right again. You can see all the enemies seem to do a lot of damage. If I remember correctly, this is, yeah. I like to just use the jump and get up here. Because you'll have this guy. <laughs> I 
and just try and run away. Come on! Are you serious? Yeah, I'm just trying to get through this stage. I find it's much easier to do that than try and deal with most of the enemies. They try and trick you, you get like the, you know, top, uh, tapestries, uh, like they have for all the other bosses, but no. See if I can actually use the last tiny bit of my magic to get a jar. Nice! So I got a magic jar out of that. <clears throat> and there's a fairy off to the right. I'm gonna wait though because there's a one up off to the left here, which is where the last one up is. And there it is. The one up. Let them fall in the lava, because I don't want to mess up and fall in the lava myself. So yeah, I'm doing really well at this point. Um, go over here, and there's a fairy. So work my way out of there, go down, and I believe this should be, yes, the last room that I was talking about. Now we go left. So it's left, right, right, left. Mm. And I think this is, yeah, you want to go through here. They make you think this is a dead end here, but you really break the bricks and fall. And there should be a, it's either a random jar or an enemy. Or maybe that's at the later part. It's like this. And there should be a blob that drops right down here. Yeah, giant blob. If you just up thrust him and run, <laughs> you're good. Now, I remember this part. Ooh! And I want to fall down in that hole. Like that little skinny hole you gotta fall through for the lava. Um. Yeah. Like I said, it gives you either a jar or one of those guys. Yep. I'm at the boss. I think this boss is named Thunderbird. The funny thing is, when I, I'll wait until you see him, but when I was a kid, we didn't know what the heck this thing was. And I remember the name that one of my friends said. And I've just always called it since, just because I think it's funny. But, um... You have to use the Thunder spell to do damage. That's, I guess, what's Thunderbird. But we used to call this thing George Washington's Ghost. <laughs> just... You can see it's just a weird-looking thing, so it's like, what do you call it? <laughs> so... That's what we used to call it, so right now I'm taking out George Washington's ghost and actually doing a fairly good job at it, because he's actually 
pretty difficult. As you can see, he just throws a bunch of random fireballs your way. Ah. Yay! In a typical boss fashion, they give you a key. Not that you would need a key at this point. So now I'm heading back out here because there's another red jar. Or the little bird thing. It's in this last one down here. Nice. And now I get to fight Shadow Link. Now, right now I have what? Five lives? So. I'm actually gonna try and take him up legitly, because there actually is kind of a little cheap glitch. If I get down to my last life, I'm gonna go ahead and use it, but I'm gonna try and take him up uh, straight otherwise. But, I'm gonna wrap this episode up for now, and we'll take some cracks at him next time, and we should finish up the game. Until then, may you have success in all you do.